Steve Youngerman. All right, let's go, Stevie. Okay, so we'll start with your stance. Good looking stance. Stay tall in the back. Almost looks, Stevie, like you're just gri over gripping that bat. Make sure those knuckles are lined up, and that helps that bat speed coming forward. I like the bent knees and tall chest there. So your stance is pretty good. I just watch that grip. Just gets a pretty flat back behind you. Okay. Now from there, I think you can really increase that load. There's not much of a load there. I think you just be started a little bit earlier. It's pretty herky-jerky. Just nice and soft, soft back. And then again, when you load, that top part of the bat should not go past that midline of your body. When you load, that thing lays back flat behind you there. Okay, keep that barrel, carry that barrel a little bit taller. Than that. Okay, you get good direction. Just keep working on keeping that head down, of course. Okay. Watch that front side. Front side stays locked. Load stride. Okay. And then when you swing, you have those hands go forward, not around. Don't lift that. That was not bad right there. Watch that one compared to that first one. Hands, knob forward. There you go. Hands and knob forward. Don't have it go circle around your body. Excellent swing. Excellent swing. Okay. So again, just watch that grip. I would just raise that bat angle so it's not so flat behind you. And then increase your load stride. Just start a little bit earlier. Try to create a little more uh, fluidity into it. And then keep, uh, watch that ball. Watch that ball. Watch that front side. That front side, stay attack position the whole time. And then again, when you swing with that swing, the hands come down, down. Swing it, swing it. All right, we're good, coach. Hold on a sec, coacher. Okay, I want you to see with that from my view back behind. You understand what I'm saying? So you over grip it, bat is too flat back behind you, and then that causes that knob to push out away. Line those knuckles up and keep that barrel a little bit higher. And then from there, your hands can come down. Also in that load stride, just, just real kind of, I call it herky-jerky, I think. But it's just try and be a little more soft and fluid with it. And then you create more energy and power, OK? Feel that knob, not so flat, over grip. Raise it, and then that helps those hands go forward. Looks good, though, bud. Looks real good.